We're in Union Square. I'm with Thierry. And he is one of the very few people who actually knows his cards. So he knows that he's already playing the Ten of Diamonds. And he has Ace of Diamonds personality. And we started off talking. Thierry was saying that he used to believe in this and then he stopped. And we're going to find out why. Why yeah. did you stop believing? Well, I feel as though um, it deals with astrology. And if you're like, oh, you're Aquarius, oh, you're a certain way because you're Aquarius, you're Aries, you're a certain way because you're Aries, seems like it's BS. I don't want to say, uh, I don't want to curse <laughs> on YouTube. I, I, I feel as though, you know, they say, to me, it felt like BS. And if you believe in anything, it will be true to a certain extent. So I really felt believed in this hardcore. Like in my old place back home, I had this poster up. I know that this is the life spread. Yes. And then I had the spiritual spread up yeah. there also. And I had my little pointer. And I was like, oh, this, this is going to happen with this and with this. Huh. And, and I kind of said maybe it's all BS. I don't know. Okay. Maybe you, you can right. persuade well, me today. Well, well, let's talk a little bit. Yeah. So Terry's playing the Ten of Diamonds. As you know, the Ten of Diamonds. Did you know that the Ten of Diamonds is the princess? The princess? <laughs> no. <laughs> now I really don't believe it. <laughs> well, one of the things about the Ten of Diamonds is yeah. you like attention. Uh -huh. You know that, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I'm not On sure. my uh, backpack. Okay. okay. I'll yeah. Make sure no one okay. 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 Thank you. <laughs> okay. So anybody grabs and takes it, you you chase. Uh, I'll hold it down. Thank you. Okay. So I want to talk to you a little bit about the symbolic patterning. Okay. All right? So there's two X's. You ever noticed that before? There's two X's, where? There's two X's on the pattern. Oh, okay, yeah. So what happens for you is that you get double-crossed a lot, or you double-cross other people. Uh-huh, okay. Because you overcommit and you overpromise. Oh, uh, okay, yeah. Like, you want to do everything, you want to be everywhere and please everybody. <laughs> yeah. And you double-book your calendar. Yeah, okay. And you get double-crossed, or you double-cross other people. Yeah, yeah. Like this. Okay. Now, the other way to read this patterning is there's a circle inside of a square okay right? now the square represents a solid foundation okay and the circle represents an opening like a faucet so this is your opening where you can shine a spotlight okay you have a spotlight that shines through you okay so you can light up the room wherever you go okay cool you can. <laughs> now the more you make so what? Yeah, I'm lighting up now. Okay, tell me more. I, I believe it now. <laughs> <laughs> well, it, well, here's the thing, is that you either can be overcommitted and overextended, uh -huh. or you make more space and have a healthy boundaries, and when you do, you get more light shines through you. You become more of a spotlight the more you allow for open space. What does that mean? It means don't clutter up your life. Okay. It means make more room for yourself. How are you about being alone in your own private space? I'm liking it now. Okay, yeah. it's important for you. Yeah, it is. Yeah. It's really important for you to have your own private space. Now, I said before, the 10 is the princess. Most people who know the system don't know that. Uh -huh. You got the king and the queen and the prince and the princess. Now, the thing about the princess is she has a sense of entitlement. Okay. So you may feel like you deserve a lot. Uh -huh. And the truth is you do. Because okay. you're playing this royal game of adulation and attention okay. where people give you their accolades and gifts. Do you win stuff a lot? I used to think I was pretty lucky. I think I'm pretty lucky, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the princess gets lucky. <laughs> you're, you're lucky. Uh -huh. So the thing for you is to feel worthy of that position. Okay. To feel like you deserve it. Okay. And then okay. you shine your spotlight even brighter. Okay, okay, okay. So that's the way to understand the Ten of Diamonds. Now, what you were saying before, it's true. Whatever we believe is our reality. The thing about this is you are not a Ten of Diamonds. Mm -hmm. You are a limitless and timeless being. Okay. You're here to play a game. Okay. We're all here to play a game. Uh -huh. And this is the game Matrix. Okay. So this is like your game token. Okay. So you can choose how you want to play it. Yeah. You can play however you want. You can be a neurotic princess, uh -huh. or you can be like a generous, giving, beautiful princess. Now, are all tens princesses? Yes. Okay, all tens are, okay. The ten is the princess. <laughs> okay. You have a strong feminine okay. energy. Do you know okay. that about yourself? No, I did not. Yeah. I did not. Because, are you in touch with your feminine side? Not at all. <laughs> like, I not, not until I sat down here, you know, I was manly man. and. 
you know. It's important for you to be in touch with your feminine side. I'm going to go buy a tiara after this. <laughs> you are, I'm joking. I'm joking. But you no, really, but yeah, okay. You want to be in touch with your feelings more. Okay. Okay. Right? Okay. Yeah. So open up your heart more. Okay. Be more, quote unquote, feminine in your approach. Okay. Does How does one sense? go about doing that? That's a whole other conversation, but uh-huh. just to give you the, the light or to give you the direction to point yeah. you in the right way is you want to be more in touch with your feelings. Show your feelings. Express your feelings. Okay. Right? Don't okay. be shy about saying how you really feel to someone who you care about because you may try to protect your heart. I got a huge problem with doing that. Yeah. Is that that's not just me. It's, I thought that was everybody who had that. It's a little bit everybody. It's a general thing uh-huh. for everybody. But the Ten of Diamonds, you really have that it. specifically. Okay. You don't like to show your heart. You like to keep your heart closed. Okay. There's a fear that someone's going to betray you. Okay. Right? You don't want to show your cards. Okay. <laughs> you, you like to keep your feelings closed. Yeah, absolutely. So on the one hand, you can be really charismatic and charming, and you shine a big light, but your real feelings your personal feelings you might keep those private so in a relationship you want to be more in touch with your feelings in touch with and that's okay. how you can be more feminine okay does that make sense it makes perfect sense okay. well i'm glad you sat down with us well thank you very much well, thank you very much <laughs> all right i think uh, you got a new believer i don't know now now I'm, I'm my mind is blown this has been, just been blown earlier today i was like i don't care and then i saw you guys I was like i know this and now he's telling me this stuff i'm like Oh, maybe it's, I'm a believer again. 